research can be really soul destroying because you can work for hours or weeks and at the end of the game maybe you made zero progress. Sometimes you even make negative progress because you discover errors in what's, what supposedly has been proved before. I think someone described research in mathematics as inspiration, uh, uh, sorry, pers um, constipation, inspiration, perspiration. The inspiration comes often, but there's a lot of, lot of work to do to check it. it's right, and very often it's wrong and so on. You spend most of your time wasting your time on going the wrong way. I think what happens is that as you get older, as you develop as a mathematician, you tend to attack steadily harder problems. So when I was a graduate student, I was proving things every other week. And I wanted to solve harder problems. And it went into this routine where I'd be thinking for first time I attacked something really, really quite tough. It was a couple of years before I finally solved it. And those two years were fairly nasty. And then it was three years before I finally solved the next one I tried to do and so on. And it got gradually longer until uh, most recently, I worked on something for years and years and years, six or seven years, and I haven't solved it. I think the, the worst thing that can happen to, to you is maybe that you, that you think you proved something, maybe you even published it, and then one year later, you find a mistake, or, or even worse, somebody else tells you the mistake. It's a bit like long distance running. You know, you sort of run a certain distance and you think, I can't go on, I cannot do this. It's painful, it actually hurts, and I'm tired. And I don't want to do this, I want to go back to bed. Of course there is always the point where you think you've got a proof um, and it looks good and it's exciting for a few days and then oh, <laughs> you discover it's wrong on this particular line. Um, but you just, yeah, you just learn to live with that. Um, I mean that's happened for me since day one. I suppose that when, I, when I've been very disappointed with something in work, um, then one, you know, I felt I want to throw in the towel and do something else. I don't want to have to go through that disappointment again. It's very demanding being a mathematician. I'm saying here that when you do work, it really takes up all your energy. And then again, you're trying to do something so hard that most likely you won't be able to do. So it's, so it's a tough, it's a tough sport. And I kind of like the romance of not having it solved. I was rather disappointed when Fermat's last theorem was actually finally proved because it's really romantic I think to have an easily stated problem that has led to all kinds of complicated mathematics being developed and yet we still can't solve the easily stated problem. But what's worrying most, what gets me really stressed is when I feel uh, that I'm complete uninspired, you know. There are moments where I don't know why the mind is tired and you, you, you just, you're not, you're not engaging. You know, your mind is not engaging with any, anything interesting mathematically. You spend so much time on the problem and it basically does not, does not bulge. I mean, it's like you're hitting the wall with your head and at some point your head starts to hurt. You don't see any differences, uh, any changes on the wall not too young, too old, and so you look at this problem. If it, this uh, problem is uh, extremely beautiful, okay, in this case, the best way, don't think about this at all. Because, okay, you spend perhaps all your life, okay, since, and still thinking about this problem. But, okay, if it is a little bit ugly, okay, in this case, perhaps it is your choice, okay. Well, frustration is something, some, something that can happen, of course. Uh, if a paper doesn't get accepted even for the fourth or fifth time, well, then... Uh, has that happened uh, to you? Yes, it has happened to me. <laughs> no, I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the uh, best recipe is probably, uh, is probably chocolate. Yes, chocolate <laughs> is a very nice, very nice solution to these kind of problems. One of my first papers uh, I got because I, I, was, I thought I had proved something. I was really excited about it. Uh, so excited I even bet someone $20 that I was right in the face of evidence to the contrary. And then I was about to even give a lecture on it the next day. And then the night before, and thinking about it a little bit harder, I, uh, I, had to, I ripped up my lecture because it was all wrong, paid my friend $20, 
and uh, and realized that uh, you know what I thought was true was was, was it totally failed. It's uh, it's surprising things do sometimes take a long time. Many of the great mathematical results have taken a very long time. And just because looking back at them, you realize that it was all done in a few minutes, doesn't mean that looking forward, you can reserve a few minutes and expect the thing to happen. It does create problems in, in a relationship when you have this obsession, you know, it's like a skeleton in the closet. Right? Um, there are times when I'm not a very good husband, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> Um, because of mathematics. Baseball players have, if you're a really great batter, you have about a 300 batting average, which means, you know, 30% of the time you get a, you're successful, you get a hit or whatever, and 70% of the time you don't. And in math, you know, your batting average is, you know, more like, you know, 1%. Well, some people would say someone is silly for hankering after a lost love that's long gone. Um, but I think it is like that. I think, um, that the engagement has that kind of, can have that feeling of intensity, of, you know. Um, all that kind of excitement and focus on the single thing and all this pleasure that you get from it. And then if it goes wrong, all the, the pain and feeling of loss um, can change, well, can change, it changes the way you think about yourself. So you're also taking significant risks. I mean, you really spend huge chunks of your life on something that might never result in anything.